doing fractions on your multi-view calculator. This is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that you would want a multi-view calculator is for the ease of doing fractions. So let's look at the fraction keys real quick. There's only a few of them. They're right here. The, this one in its shifted version and these two shifted versions here are all of the fraction keys. Here is a blow up of that. Numerator, denominator. That would certainly be how you enter a fraction. That would be a fraction without a whole number part written as an improper fraction if it did have a whole number part. Here, using the shifted version, you go second numerator denominator key to get the green shifted version, which would allow you to enter a unit and a numerator denominator to make a mixed number. If you went second and hit the times 10 to the n key, you would, can you tell what this does? This converts back and forth between improper fraction and a mixed number that would have unit denominator, numerator, denominator. And as you might guess, this converts back and forth between fraction and decimal. And you can do some very complicated fraction work with just these fraction keys. Let's look at how you enter fractions. And if let's say we just wanted to enter two thirds. I just click the numerator denominator key. Over here is the key press history. You can That'll tell you which keys were pressed. And I could enter 2, and I could arrow down and enter a 3, and hit Enter, and there's the fraction 2 thirds. Let's say I wanted to enter it, the fraction 5 thirds. 5, cursor down, thirds, and of course that's a improper fraction and there it is in terms of improper fraction and if I want to switch that between improper and a mixed number I go second and I'm now I'm using the conversion that's above the times 10 to the nth key and that looks a little ugly it says convert numerator denominator to units numerator denominator and bottom line is when you hit enter you get one and two thirds, which is the mixed number. If you wanted to go back to the improper fraction, you could do it again. Second, and now convert between mixed number and improper fraction the other way. And click enter, and there it is, the five thirds. So that's simple fractions. Of course, if the five thirds and you wanted to convert that to a decimal, which you won't want to do in this chapter, but maybe in the next one. You go second, and now I'm going to use the fraction decimal conversion, and it's 1.6666, etc., repeating. And if I wanted to go back, you can also use this to convert back and forth, this little convert one way to the other way. That's just the same thing as the little double arrow there. There's the five thirds. So that's pretty much all you need. Now realize you can do some very complex fractions here. So I could for instance create a fraction with a fraction inside there say one-third and I you gotta be you you watch the template and it'll tell you what's going on. Plus let's say That's not what I wanted to do. That's all right. Um, there, fixed it with the delete key. I wanted to go. I wanted to enter a mixed number up there and put in I don't know two and one third. Let's make it two and five sixths. You have to move over to get to the five, and then you have to move down to get to the six. And then you can move down to the denominator fraction. And down there you could put negative two sevenths. 
and I could move over and I could put divided by and put a mixed number. And again, I goofed up, but not to worry. Here's the delete key. Second, mix number five and four fifths. Move over into the template with the four and move down with the five. And I have really no clue what that's going to come out, but I'll guarantee you this calculator is going to get it right. So the answer is negative 3,085, 3,857 over 60. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to, that's going to be too big a fraction to convert, I believe. We'll see. I'm converting that result, trying to convert it to a mixed number. Ah, it worked. Okay. So, negative 64 and 17 sixtieths. So that's using fractions in uh, on your TI calculator. It's very easy because you can use templates. You just make a template and you fill it in. So you should practice this. You should be doing, you should know how to do them by hand, but you should also be practicing and drilling, doing it on your calculator to get up to speed. Uh, in the real world, you very seldom have to work a complicated fraction problem by hand. Keep a calculator in your back pocket, know how to use it.